Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on uh, geometry problem. How to find the sides of the triangles. We're given a triangle with sides 5, 8 centimeters respectively and 9 plus 2x centimeter. We're asked to find the restriction on the variable x. There is a little theorem says the side, any side of a triangle got to be smaller than some of the other two sides, but it has to be greater than difference of the other two sides. This kind of makes sense. If you think about it, a triangle looks like this. Let's see, we have a question side. That's this side. Okay, this side got to be smaller than this side adding this side, because if we're added this side, let's see this side equal to this. This distance got to be longer than this one. If you were to subtract this distance, you know, the over here, um, I'm trying to draw a circle here. So if this side is equal to this side equal to this, distance-wise, you can see that this distance, okay, it's f 8 minus 5, and then this distance here is 8 plus 5. So very rudimentarily drawing a picture here, you can see this side in question mark got in between the shortest dif difference here and it got to be shorter than the sum of the other two sides but got to be longer than the difference of the two sides. All right, from here it's really easy to solve uh, basically an inequality. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 9 everywhere. In, in inequality when we solve it, it's much like equality only that um, when we multiply and divide it, we've got to switch the sign. Um, Adding and subtracting doesn't change anything. So this one copies down here. I have a 4 here. This one is minus 6. Okay, I have a 2x here. And then x, since I'm dividing by positive number, must become a 2 because 4 divided by 2 here become a negative 3. So here's my restriction for the x, variable x. Now a lot of students ask, well, how can x be bigger than minus 3? Doesn't that violate the size has to be a positive number? Well, not necessarily because the third side, the side where you investigate, it's not x, it's 9 plus 2x. Okay, so even if x is equal to minus 3, I have 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6, 9 plus minus 6, which is 3, that's still bigger than 0. Okay, so checking um, if it's minus 3, then it's 9 plus 2 times minus 3. This still is bigger than 0. So all the sides are still positive. All right. So let's see anything else I want to talk about. Not really. This is a pretty simple problem. Like I said, uh, third side has to be in between the sum and the difference, which is graphically makes sense. And then from here, you just have to be careful when you solve inequalities here. And here's the final answer. All right. That's how we handle this problem. And once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun. At least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if, if this has been helpful. Till next time, have a confident day.